This creek has been dry for a while. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top Dawson's Creek cast members. Where are they now? For this list, we're looking at various actors and actresses that starred in Dawson's Creek and seeing what they've been up to since the teen drama ended. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. And why do I care? I wish I didn't. It's like you got me. Number 13, Sasha Alexander. Alexander was only on one season of Dawson's Creek, playing Gretchen Witter for 20 episodes throughout season four. Excuse me, do you know where the light bulbs are? Uh, usually up. I meant which aisle. I'm sorry, I don't work here. I'm lucky for management. Just two years later, she landed the role of special agent Caitlin Todd on NCIS, a role she would inhabit for 50 episodes between 2003 and 2015. Don't dismiss me like that, okay? I earned my jock strap. Yeah, does it ever give you that empty feeling? What? Your jock strap. No. Like some species of frogs, I grow what I need. She also portrayed Helene Runyon throughout 11 episodes of Shameless. But her most substantial post Dawson's Creek role is that of Dr. Maura Isles on the TNT police procedural Rizzolian Isles, which ran between 2010 and 2016. She played the role for all six years and 105 episodes and even won a People's Choice Award for her efforts. Dr. Isles. Okay, I'll be right there. We're not done here. Number 12, Dylan Neal. Neal is another short-lived Dawson's Creek alum, starring in just 20 episodes as Doug Witter. Tell me something, Pacey. Does being the leading contender for the official joke of Cape Side bother you even a little bit? Because I must say, it's a distinction the rest of the Witter family could certainly live without. Neil has appeared in dozens of TV shows and made-for-TV movies since leaving Dawson's Creek behind, including a main role in the short-lived Canadian horror police procedural Blood Ties. Oh, great work, Jeb. Thank you. Got him. Go get him, sir. He also played Professor Ivo for seven episodes of Arrow between 2013 and 2014. Neil has since ventured into producing and writing, and he and his wife, Becky Southwell, currently run Southwell Neil Entertainment, which produces for Hallmark. Neil writes, produces, and stars in the Gourmet Detective series, the fifth of which aired in January 2020. Number 11, Nina Rapetta. Rapetta actually attended East Carolina University with Dawson's Creek creator Kevin Williamson, which may have led to her long-running role as Bessie Potter. One hospital with one ambulance and no doctor within 30 miles. Another of the hidden joys of living in the middle of nowhere. It seems like Rapetta has been taking it easy since the show ended. According to IMDb, she's only been credited in seven roles since 2003. In 2015, she was credited as Woman with Stroller in the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water. So she has that going for her. That same year, she was credited as Melinda in an episode of The Originals, and in 2017, she appeared as Blue Blood Woman in TNT's Good Behavior. I love it. What does it mean? If we had Dawson's Creek money, we'd probably take it easy, too. Come on, Joey. I spend most of my conversations with a teething baby. Your sister could use a little vicarious pleasure. Come on. Number 10, John Wesley Shipp. Shipp was an established television actor before his time as Mitch Leary. He played Barry Allen on CBS's The Flash between 1990 and 91. And before that, he worked on various soap operas. I realize how an unhappy childhood probably led you to all this, but that's really no excuse. It makes sense then that he returned to both after his time on Dawson's Creek. Seize this opportunity, Dawson. Seize it. It'll be gone in a moment. In 2010, he went back to One Life to Live after more than 20 years, this time in the role of Eddie Ford. How'd it go? Oh, nice. Smooth. He appeared in 19 episodes overall, and in 2014, he once again returned to the Flash franchise, this time playing Henry Allen in the CW's iteration. Welcome home! Between 2014 and 2019, he appeared in more than 20 episodes. Okay, do you think, can you be all that you are becoming with me here? Number nine, Mary Margaret Humes. It's completely and utterly selfish, but I totally want him to drop out of USC and come back and be close to us. Before her time on Dawson's Creek, Mary Margaret Humes partook in beauty contests and was even the third runner-up in the 1975 Miss USA pageant. 
Five years later, she landed her first acting role on The Dukes of Hazard, and in 1998, she began her brilliant work as Gail Leary. Unfortunately, her work has dwindled in the 2010s, and she now appears in one-off episodes of various TV shows and made-for-TV movies. Between 2018 and 2019, she starred in four TV movies, like Christmas in Love, Winter Love Story, and A Feeling of Home. In 2018, she was also controversially left out of an Entertainment Weekly reunion spread, and she told Access, quote, I wish I could have been there. Us too. And so I clicked onto my iPad, and there is my TV family. Well, my partial TV family, um, John Wesley and I were not invited to the party. <laughs> Number 8. Mary Beth Peel Before her time as Grams, Mary Beth Peel was actually a professional opera singer. She toured with the Metropolitan Opera's National Company and eventually made her way to Broadway. In 1985, she was nominated for a Tony Award for her work in The King and I. She has since returned to the stage and is doing as well as she ever has. I'll see you soon, child. In the mid-2010s, she played Dowager Empress Maria Fyodorovna in Anastasia and received her second Tony Award nomination. She also remains busy on television, having starred as Jackie Florick in The Good Wife between 2009 and 2016. In 2019, she appeared in five episodes of the NBC drama The Village. It's great to see her doing so well. And then boom, off we went on our own way. I doubt it. Handsome Napolitano like you. Number 7. Meredith Monroe So, Witter, I hope you have your moves polished and ready, because I plan on making a dancing fool out of you. Monroe is yet another Dawson's Creek alum that didn't start out in acting. Before 1996, Monroe was a professional model and modeled for companies like L'Oreal, Ford, and Mattel. Her first acting role came in 1997, and just one year later, she was playing Andy McPhee. She continues to act on television and has appeared in dozens of shows throughout the years, mostly in one-off roles. Throughout the 2010s, she's popped up on CSI New York, NCIS Los Angeles, and SWAT. People want to think that this couldn't happen to them, that they're better parents. The last time I saw my son was that morning before school. When he said goodbye to me, there was genuine sadness in his voice. Her most substantial role of the decade is that of Carolyn Standall in Netflix's 13 Reasons Why. She appeared in seven episodes of the show between 2018 and 2019. Mom, did I leave a note? Yes, you left a note. Number 6. Busy Phillips Busy Phillips is certainly a busy actress. We are so sorry for that pun. So chill out. I'm sure you're just overreacting a little. Besides, it sounds like the worst thing that could happen is that you hurt his feelings a little bit. And wow, bonus, who knew that Charlie Todd had any feelings? Busy has remained steady on television since 1999 when she starred as Kim Kelly on Freaks and Geeks. Hey, Brain. A shoplift in your daddy's store. You're just some rich kid who's trying to piss off her parents. You think you can hang with these guys? You think that's gonna make you cool? And after her two-year stint on Dawson's Creek, Phillips played Dr. Hope Bobak on ER. Soledad is worried every day and prays all the time for her husband and four-year-old son back in their hometown of Chichicastenango. In 2015, she ended her six-year run on Cougar Town, a role that earned her a Critics' Choice TV Award in 2011. Sweetie, you know you don't get to leave until I ask you what I ask you every weekend. Come on, let's go out, let's have fun. Between 2016 and 2017, she played Gail Liptrap on HBO's Vice Principals. And in 2018, she landed her own late-night talk show on E! titled Busy Tonight. Unfortunately, the show was eventually canceled, and its last episode aired on May 16, 2019. Number 5. Kerr Smith Smith began his acting career on the soap opera As the World Turns. His role spanned one year and 24 episodes. You're not going to stop until you get all the wet, slushy details, are you? The very next year, he began his stint as Jack McPhee and starred in 113 of the show's 128 episodes. And Smith remains active on television. The feelings that I've been having for you are so much more than platonic. And they took me by surprise. I was afraid. Between 2014 and 2018, he appeared as Robert Quinn on the freeform drama The Fosters, and in 2016, he starred in three episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is not possible. And this, what if in some way it is reading us?
he also joined the cast of Riverdale playing Principal Holden Honey, who took over as Principal of Riverdale High following Weatherby's departure. I don't know what kind of a ship Waldo Weatherby was running around here. Things are gonna be different this year. We'll have order, discipline, consequences. Number four, Joshua Jackson. Before his time as Pacey Witter, Joshua Jackson was known as Charlie from the Mighty Ducks movies, which spanned from 1992 to 1996. You know, she has many fine qualities that men find attractive. Jackson has remained a regular on TV since Dawson's Creek concluded in 2003. I'm sorry to disturb you. Pacey, I thought everyone had gone home. Well, everybody else did, but I was kind of hoping that you and I could finish that conversation we started earlier. Between 2008 and 2013, he starred as Peter Bishop in Fringe, and in 2018, he concluded a four-year, 43-episode stint on The Affair. I drove across the entire country to come and get her, but I was too late. For the latter, he was nominated for two People's Choice Awards. In 2019, he appeared in three episodes of Netflix's When They See Us, and is currently set to star as Bill Richardson in Hulu's Little Fires Everywhere. Jackson also married British model Jodie Turner-Smith in 2019, and it was announced in December of that year that the couple was expecting their first child. Where did all this scientific mumbo-jumbo come from? I thought this AJ dude was a poetry geek. Number three, Michelle Williams. Michelle Williams is arguably the breakout star of Dawson's Creek. She has starred in blockbusters like Venom and The Greatest Showman and has earned numerous awards, including two Golden Globes, an Emmy, and a SAG. In 2019, she executive produced and starred in Fosse Verdon, a biographical drama about choreographer Bob Fosse and professional dancer Gwen Verdon. You learned to live with it. You didn't. You left. But we are very much still friends. That role earned her the aforementioned Golden Globe, Emmy, and SAG Awards. Her other Golden Globe win was in 2012 for My Week with Marilyn. Williams is currently filming Venom 2, which is scheduled for release in October 2020. So yeah, she's doing all right for herself. Look, my, my grams is waiting, I should go, but it was really nice to meet you guys and um, I'll see you in school. Number two, Katie Holmes. Holmes is another breakout star, albeit in a slightly different kind of way. Just maybe there is another part of me, another girl that lives deep inside of me. And maybe every once in a while she lets loose and does things that might blow some people's minds. While she continued to act after Dawson's Creek, starring in movies like Phone Booth and Batman Begins, Holmes was mostly known for her marriage to Tom Cruise, whom she began dating in April 2005. The two went through a very public and impassioned divorce in 2012, which centered around claims that Cruise was going to abduct their daughter Surrey. Holmes made a bit of a comeback after the divorce was finalized, appearing in movies like Logan Lucky and Ocean's 8. Two. Cheers. Oh yeah. Cheers. She also enjoyed a recurring role throughout season three of Ray Donovan and is credited for three movies in 2020, Coda, Brahms, The Boy 2, and The Secret, Dare to Dream. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, James Vanderbeek. And finally, we come to the Dawson of Dawson's Creek, Mr. James Vanderbeek himself. I think we'll be fine. Now, granted, you and I are entering some uncharted boy girl territory, but I honestly think that regardless of how complicated things are on a day-to-day -day basis, we'll be fine. It wasn't Vanderbeek's first role, but it made him a household name and remains his most substantial. He's since jumped from TV show to TV show, and between 2014 and 2018, he was in the main cast of five different programs. Friends with Better Lives, CSI Cyber, Carter's Get Rich, Vampirina, and Pose. Listen, if you want to sip Chardonnay in the Upper West Side with a bunch of intellectuals from Columbia, get the Times. If you want to get invited to the best parties, walk past the line at Palladium, meet celebrities, get your name in the Post. 2019 also saw Vanderbeek cameoing as himself in the Jay and Silent Bob reboot and competing on season 28 of Dancing with the Stars. He finished fifth. Vanderbeek has also become a bit of a family man, fathering no less than five children with his wife, Kimberly Brooke. They have a full yeah. hand of children. Uh, a full, a full hand, hand of children. Of, of, are you stopping at one hand or are you gonna go I for more? I think one hand is about all we can responsibly raise at this point. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Talked about our plans and now we got no plans, then you're gonna wish you stay. 
figure out it was your loss And why do I care? I 